Welcome back to another week of Cooking with Them. Got a little bit of a studio upgrade that should make filming this a little bit easier. I've been on a little bit of a watermelon binge lately, so this week we're going to continue with some watermelon salad. I'm on a journey to discover what goes into the food we eat, why it matters, and how we can use this knowledge to make our own cooking taste better. After being diagnosed with 17 food allergies, I'm determined to relearn how to cook, rethink how to eat, and reimagine what mealtime looks like. So the reason why this dish works is because the watermelon and the cucumber are both on the sweeter side, whereas the balsamic vinaigrette is more on the acidic side and will help cut the sweetness down a little bit. It'll help cut the sweetness and integrate it well into the rest of the salad. For the bulk of the salad, I have some mixed greens, specifically some baby spinach and arugula, uh, personal favorites of mine. I'm not a big fan of buying them pre-packaged and pre-washed usually, but this time I opted for the convenience. Also to complement the flavor of the watermelon and the cucumber, I got some mint. Now mint goes really well with each of these and should add a little bit of a nice touch. Of course I grabbed some onion. Onion is a favorite of mine and I think goes well in most salads. And finally some pecans. One of the few nuts that I'm still allowed to have. Uh, this is the one that I opted for and of course if you need to substitute it for something else, feel free to do so. So let's go ahead and get started chopping. We're going to start off by chopping the watermelon. In observance of the mess that I made last time, I opted to chop this on the surface where if some watermelon juice drips off, there's not as much stuff for it to get into. That is a nice looking watermelon. I almost broke one of my own rules. I forgot to get some bowls to put this in. Now I've seen a couple of examples of watermelon salads with watermelon sizes uh, ranging to really large chunks to really small cubes. I'm going to go for something in the middle, uh, kind of what you would expect to see in maybe a fruit salad or what I would expect to see. So it's less work that way, but it's still small enough to manage. Now I think a quarter of a watermelon is good enough for me. We've got a, a good amount here to work with, so I'm going to put the rest aside and continue on with the cucumber. So chopping the cucumber is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to make some uh, slices out of it. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'll make some, uh, some chunks, like uh, quarters. Let's see how this goes. To start with, you'll notice that I chop it into rather thick chunks here, and that's because I'm not going to thinly slice it. Instead, I'm going to now chop it into chunks to put into the salad, so it's more similar to the watermelon pieces. Okay, we now have our watermelon and cucumber chopped up. Next, we'll go ahead and cut the onion. Now because the size of these chunks are relatively large, I'm not going to cut the onion super small. Again, I want the size to somewhat match, so rather than dice this onion, I'm simply going to slice it into chunks as well. The technique is very similar to dicing the onion. I'm going to start by chopping that top off right there while leaving this root end intact. We'll then chop it in half, go ahead and get all that skin off of there. Now I'm going to actually give these a quick rinse under water to help contain the gases so they don't make me tear up as much. And now we're going to do something similar to dicing. Uh, instead though, I'm simply going to cut it in half again. Now we have a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and just slice it this way from the end I cut off down to the root. The result will be these kind of quarter circle pieces that we're accustomed to seeing in salads. Actually, I'm going to toss these in a separate bowl. Whoa, those gases got strong fast. Likewise, I'm only going to use half of the onion and I'm going to put the other half away for later. The real problem with the tearing up while working with onions is the fact that you can't see as well and you're more likely to cut yourself. So sometimes it's good to take a moment to step back and let it kind of clear up. And now we're ready to begin assembling our salad. 
Now when assembling any kind of salad, I like to use a really big bowl, one that's a lot larger than I need. That'll give me the room to put the salad ingredients in and to toss them together with the dressing without worrying about a bunch of things falling out the top. Let's go ahead and get started with our greens. I'm just going to dump the whole container in and make a larger salad. That way I can just portion it out, eat some now, and have some more for later. Now we're going to toss in our fruit. Now when you're tossing a salad like this, you want to be careful that you're not crunching down too hard because you don't want to crush your greens and you're going to end up with a soupy, fruity, juicy mess at the bottom. So you want to grab it as lightly as possible, but enough to get a chunk in there. And just kind of twist it about like this. That way everything gets nice and mixed in. I'm taking a moment to break up the onion a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't totally stay together in big chunks like this. Woo! That onion. That onion is still strong. Which is weird. It's usually older onions that are like this. I just bought this yesterday. Another reason not to buy pre-packaged. Now this is the first time that I'm making this, so I'm just kind of guessing as to the relative amounts uh, based on salads that I've made before. Uh, so we'll see if this is enough. I'm actually going to go ahead and tear up these leaves using a chiffonade cut. Uh, I've used this cut before with uh, different greens and it works really well because it brings out the flavor of the leaf by essentially making a lot of tears or cuts into it to allow that flavor to escape. This essentially just involves making a nice big pile of leaves and then rolling them up and then taking our knife and just slicing it uh, against through the roll. Then the result is a bunch of little strips just like this. Go ahead and add those in. Let's go ahead and mix this in. Now we're going to add in our pecans. And finally, to bring this all together, we're going to use a balsamic vinaigrette. I'm actually going to use the Dipping Vinaigrette Cooking Sauce from California Basalmic. Wonderful company and I absolutely love their products. Uh, so I'm going to use this as my dressing. Alright, I'm going to give this one last good toss. And there we have it, a wet and one salad. Let's serve some up and see what it tastes like. I'm going to top this off with a little sprig of mint, just to make it look a little nicer. I am just starting a struggle bus with getting into stuff today. I'm going to add a little bit more of the watermelon chunks underneath it to help the contrast the mint on top and stand out. Now I can finish this with an artistic drizzle of some sauce. Actually, I'm going to do that before putting the mint on. There we are. Let's clean up the side of this a little bit. And now our completed watermelon salad. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. That's good. The, uh, the juice of the watermelon and then the cucumber actually works really well. Um, the mint flavor is fantastic and the acid from the vinaigrette balances it out so nicely. And then there's just a little bit of crunch in there from the onions and also from the pecans. This is fantastic. I think I'm gonna make this again sometime. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below if you have any ideas for future videos. 
and make sure you're subscribed so that way you don't miss my next video next week. If you decide to try this out for yourself, make sure that you're following me on social media, including Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, and tell me about your story, your experience. Let me know uh, how it went, if you had better ideas to make it a little bit differently, or if you enjoyed it or thought there was something that could be improved. Make sure you include some pictures and a little bit of a story for a chance to be featured on one of my social media channels. Thank you so much, and see you next time. I am starving. I really need to start eating before filming. Oh, good though. Mm. This is good.